Uh, it's Sophie. So now I want to share something for you all about uh, Japanese ha Jap Japanese ladies' habit that they often do in Japan. Uh, hari ini kita dari Pantai Lampung. So, okay, I will share uh, six points or maybe seven to you all. Yang pertama saya mau share tentang budaya malu. Orang Jepang itu mungkin nggak hanya perempuannya, tapi laki-lakinya juga punya shame culture. But we talk about a ladies' uh, habit now, so we will talk about mostly about a uh, ladies' habit. So they have a shame culture. For example, like shame culture is like. Uh, they don't come late to the meetings and then they don't throw the rubbish everywhere so they feel shame by doing that to make uh, to, to littering on in public place so mereka punya uh, budaya malu yang tinggi tidak terlambat tidak buang sampah sembarangan dan biasanya wanita Jepang itu tidak tertawa terbahak-bahak sambil kelihatan semua giginya they, they tend to do like <laughs> like that so they cover their teeth with their hand when they are laughing and then the second one uh, orang cewek Jepang itu jarang mandi jarang mandi bukan berarti mereka nggak mandi seminggu tapi uh, mereka hanya mandi satu kali sehari setelah kerja tapi mereka shampooing every day mereka keramas setiap hari okay yang ketiga, uh, kalau pergi ke Jepang, kalian akan lihat banyak anak sekolah di Jepang itu keluyuran pakai seragam. In Indonesia, usually uh, we are not allowed to do that, but in Japan, uh, you can see everywhere many many Japanese uh, teenagers with their uniform, like going to Disneyland, going to the to the Disney Sea with their uniform. Okay. Yang poin berikutnya adalah uh, wanita Jepang itu punya selera fashion yang bagus. Jadi biasanya tidak terlalu colorful baju yang mereka pakai meskipun itu summer, meskipun itu uh, di spring. Tapi mereka biasanya tidak terlalu pakai baju yang uh, colorful like brown, white, black. You can find that color everywhere in Japan like in all season mostly. So but yeah, they have they have good taste on on fashion. Like uh, if you go to Harajuku, Shinjuku, Akihabara, you can find many uh, unique fashion uh, especially for ladies. And then um Wanita Jepang itu hidup independen, mereka hidup mandiri. Bahkan sejak mereka teenagers, they don't wait for uh, their parents pocket money. So they make their own cash by doing part-time job di restoran atau uh, jadi guru guru les. Ya, yeah, jadi mereka hidup mandiri dari sejak usia dini, dari teenager mungkin ya. Dan yang terakhir yang saya mau bagikan adalah orang Jepang itu suka baca. Itu untuk laki-laki dan perempuannya, they fond with reading, they, they love reading. So, uh, when you go to Japan, you can find many people reading inside the subway, in the garden, in the park, in, even in amusement park, you can find many Japanese with their books everywhere. So, this is what I can share for you.